done something so great. We have gotten to the point in our life when it comes to Jesus Christ, it just doesn't matter. For him, we'll live and for him, we'll die. I'm, I'm so loud. And my wife tried to slow me down. Sometimes you move too much. But I got to work while it's still day. Because one day there won't be no more daylight for me. Amen. We love you. And, and I like to say there ain't nothing you can do about it. But love me back. God bless you. God said amen. 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 One more time. Amen. For I say repent of your sins. Amen. 
be baptized. Anybody thankful for grace? It was God's grace that allowed us to repent of our sins. That's what this, this time of year is about because Jesus sent his son. God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. And that's just enough just to say thank you. Thank you for the sacrifice. Amen. Let us pray. Most holy and all wise Father, we thank you now for this day. We thank you now for this preaching moment, God. As we, we, we stand here for this short moment, God. We know that this is a holy moment, God. A sacred moment. So, God, we take this moment seriously, God. Use us now for your glory. We get all, give you all the honor, all the praise. We ask all these blessings in your son, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Turn, if you will, in your Bibles to John 3.16. John 3.16. It's a very familiar passage of scripture. We often read it, but we don't really look at the words. Amen. John 3.16. You find it, say amen. amen. You still look and say, wait for me. All right. You find the same, man. Amen. It reads this way. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. You may be seated. From this brief passage of scripture, turn to your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. I, know I know the Father cares. The Father cares. I know the Father cares. Oftentimes we say sayings like, love is what it does, which means basically if I love you, there ought to be some actions behind the words, I love you. Amen. We're in relationships with our significant others. We can say I love you 365 days a year. Days like Valentine's Day, days like anniversaries. Set aside to show our loved ones how much we love them. This morning our text shows us how our Father cares for us. Shows us how our Father loves us. Here, this text, John 3.16, is one of the most used scriptures of all the Bible fits anything but here John 3.6 is merely not just a cliche but John 3.16 was the motive behind Christmas when you watch first shows like First 48 and criminal shows when you see crimes they want to know what were the motives of the crime so while we're investigating Christmas why did, why did God send his son Jesus to die for our sins. Go back to the Garden of Egypt. Uh, go, go back to the Garden of Eden. Adam had messed up. Adam messed up and man was messed up. And now man needed a savior. Man needed a savior here. And God sent his son Jesus. To die for our sins here, here, here in our scripture, Nicodemus asked, how can we be born again? How can we be born again? And he says, uh, you believe on him. Here Jesus here goes to Numbers 21. Goes back to Numbers 21 and verse 14 and 15 when the children of Israel were complaining 
They had been bitten by fiery serpents and Moses here, Moses here goes to God and God says, the children need to confess their sins. All those who looked up at the serpent were healed. Just like, just like the children of Israel, mankind had been bitten. Mankind had been bitten by sin and here, here, they needed a savior and God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins. And, and, and this text shows us how God cares for us. This, this text shows us how God cares for us. It shows us three ways God cares for us. The first way God cares for us is because God loved the world. God loved the world. The text says, for God so loved the world. This means in the original text here, the word so means not, it means God loved the world in such a way. The original, the original text here saying God loved, so loved the world. It means he loved the world so much in such a way that he gave his only begotten son. God gave his son as a demonstration of how much he loved us. Here, you can never, you can never prove how much you love a person until you really show them how much you love them. Here, here, he shows his creation how much he loves him by giving his son. But then, not only, not only in this text does God show us how how he loved us by, by loving the world, but then he shows us by giving a gift to the world. The text says that he gave his only begotten son. Here, here, we, we give gifts. Have you ever got a bad gift? Have you ever got a bad gift? I know we do Secret Santa. You set the limit at $20 and it seems like they spent 20 cents. Here, here, this text says that he gave his only begotten son. Which means that the word begotten, which means that he was his only son that he had. That means that it was one of a kind. The only one. And here, when you look at when you look at uh, collectible items, the value of the item is predicated on how many of it is. So if there's a car, if there's one car, that means that that one car is very valuable. Here, God had one son. What if you had a one child? Many of you have one child. Would you give your one child for the whole world? It may be easy when you have two. You might give away the bad one to keep the good one. But you got one child to pick. Would you give that one child away? Here, not only does the father prove that he cared for us by his, his love to the world, but not only does he prove that he cares for us because of his gifts to the world, but God proves that he cares for us because of his grace for the world. Because the scripture says, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever opens up, which means that anybody can come. No matter if you joined the church yesterday, you joined the church a hundred years ago. Whosoever is an open call invitation to everybody. Which means that anybody can receive the gift and hear, hear God saying, Whosoever believes on my son shall not perish, but have everlasting life. 
shall not perish is not just a, a physical death because we all going to die one day. But perishing also, it means that it's a spiritual death. It means that you will live in eternity in hell. But because of grace, because of the grace that was offered through the gift of God's son Jesus, now if you believe on him, you will have eternal life. So I'm going to sit down. I'm, I'm just, we, we're going to do some math today. We're going to do some math today. God's love plus the gift that he gave equals God's grace. God's love. And because of his love, he gave a gift. And that morning on the hillside didn't nobody know about the wise men were looking for him in a in a manger wrapped up swallowing clothes was a gift that gift was grace God bless you Amen 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 Amen. 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 All right. Amen. 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 For God so loved the world that he gave his only God and Son, that who said, Believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. We give God the grace, the, the praise this morning to his Son, Jesus Christ, to the Holy Spirit, to our Pastor Green and his presence, and, sister, and First Lady Green. And all you officers and those who make up this congregation and the choir and Amen. also the ushers. Uh, this morning we want to bring your attention to um, St. Matthew's the second chapter, St. Matthew, Matthew the second chapter, um, starting at the first verse and then We'll do 9 through 11. Uh, it states, second chapter, of Matthew, the second chapter, starting at the first verse. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with them. Verse 9, When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east, uh, went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We pray that thou will be done. We pray that you use this vessel, Lord, as you see fit. Then we pray that someone be saved and mind be renewed, the heart changed and then they will repent of sin. Uh, but, uh, but all glory go to you. I'm just your vessel. Oh Lord, use us as you see fit. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I want to focus on uh, the 11th uh, verse. And, and, and when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, 
uh, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And I, out of that, that particular verse, uh, we want to talk, talk on about uh, the subject, uh, the perfect gift the perfect gift and I think in probably in the past few weeks or month uh, some of us uh, have been trying to find a perfect gift uh, to uh, some for a friend uh, or family member and we spend a lot of time in trying to find the perfect gift. But there's a criteria here that states uh, for three, three criteria that we consider for having a perfect gift. Number one, is the gift should reflect the one who gives it. And that's number one. Number two, the gift should reflect the knowledge of the one who receives it. Uh, in other words, um, that person needs or desires or, or tastes uh, and so forth. And number, number three is that the gift should be of nature and, uh, and quality that will hold its value as the time goes on. And I think most of us are uh, here uh, think about that when we are getting a gift for a person uh, and we're trying to get the perfect gift. Uh, and, but, uh, but there was only uh, one perfect gift that I really truly know, and that's the gift that God gave to humankind, uh, gave to you and I when he, he sent his son, uh, Jesus, here for, uh, for you and I. Uh, that is the perfect gift. In the criteria, you find that it that that number one that said that it reflects on the person who who gave it, and uh, number two, it, it gives it reflects the knowledge who uh, it reflects the knowledge of the one who receives it, and also of uh, the nature and quality holds its value. If you look at that, uh, what God did when he gave us to us his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ meet all the criteria and much more of a perfect gift. And so the father which, 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 which whom uh, Jesus is of and reflects on him that him given to us, he, he uh, Jesus was, came and when he had um, uh, not now in this uh, scene where you were saying where the, those, uh, the miser came and gave those gifts but now we know that Jesus now is much more than did all that and came and then uh, he has already given up his life for you and I and so I'm saying that so it, 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 Jesus reflects the nature of God God the Father and so so Jesus had uh, a, a, a being a person of love, a person of mercy. Is that right? He having all power in his hand. He has all the reflection of, of who, who God is. So when we read of the scriptures and look through the, the gospel writers, and you will find um, how in the characteristics of who Jesus was. He healed the sick, raised the dead, all that he was a caring person. And so then he reflected in his nature, divine nature, of whom God is. And so he is that loving father that provides for you and I. Uh, and, and whatever that, that, that we need, uh, he, was, he, was, uh, he would uh, give um, whatever that we are in need of. And so much more today that he give us uh, some of the things that we desire, but he always give us the thing that we need. And so he is through by the Father that Jesus Christ is the perfect gift. 
And so then we move on to the second one criteria, even saying that it reflects the knowledge of the of, of the one who receives it. And 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 God knows I need the Lord, God knew I needs when He sent his son into the world. He knew that we need a redeemer. He knew, he, he knew that we, we need a healer. He knew that we need uh, a father when we don't have a father. He knew that we need to have a mother when we're not going to have a mother, a brother, a sister. He, was gonna, he, he supplied everything that we need and he's still doing it today. The per, knowing the person of the person needs. And not only that, he does the thing that we really need, he also does the thing that we reside, that we des desire. She supplies all our needs. So that's number one, and then number two, as I just stated. Now number three is, is that it is a nature and quality that holds its value as time goes on. Now, Jesus has done a thing that has been for a many a years, from generation after generation, salvation is only through him. From, the, from his death, all the way, from, even from coming of his birth, and even until his death, and now we are, as, as Christians, trusting in him, and through and by him, that, that we are redeemed because of the precious blood that he has shed it for you and I. And that, 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 that means that from generation to generation, somebody is being saved. It from generation and generation, this gives holds out through all eternity. It will never lose its power. And so you find that, that, that it states that it, it holds its value. Uh, it's not like uh, you buying a car for someone and uh, 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 you know uh, uh, that you, you you don't get a gift, but you get a, a gift card. And, and sometimes some of the the gift cards, if the if the some of the companies they if, if you don't use that gift card in a timely manner, Frank, they start deducting the value from that yeah. gift card. That's right. But 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 Jesus Christ, see. He never lose his value. And so that's why God gave us the perfect gift because his he will never lose his power, his right. value. Jesus is always valuable yes. to you and I. Yes. Even to those that don't even know him. Amen. And so when you got a gift card, that gift card uh, sometimes it might run out. And then and, then, and you know what? And, 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 and it will come down to zero value. And when it's down to zero value, you can't get nothing out of it. And so God gave us something and someone that, that will never lose its value or its power. And that through all generations. And another thing, you can, you can look at this. If, if he would have, if he wanted to, uh, 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 if, 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 if he wanted us to have, uh, uh, let's say, uh, come in as uh, information, uh, a gift of information, or even having pleasure, uh, even one that is uh, a, a, a doctor or a scientist, he would have gave us all these different things. Mm -hmm. A doctor, he would have gave us a scientist, he would have gave us all those things that we need. But what we really need, we really need a redeemer. Yes. One that can save us all. Amen. And so then we find that God gave us his only begotten son. And, and he's one that, that will never, never lose his value. And so then we got God then. So with God then, he, mm -hmm. he, 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 it's through all eternity that he will as I stated before, never lose his value. And God, Lord, know that we need a, a redeemer uh, because he is the only way. 
and the only one had been talked about. And we, we looked at those men from the Mijah, and we looked at King Herod, and, and knowing that King was a, a cruel man and such, but the focus was on that how the, these men from a far country knew what was going on in another place, uh, and, and they brought special gifts. And so when we give gifts of someone, it should meet these criteria of saying, of having, uh, being, if you want to give a perfect gift, it should meet those criteria of the one that who gave and the one that is to receive it. All right. And then the one that, that, that this, this, this particular gift should, in nature should hold its value. And so sometimes I, I, I'm, I'm like this. I was a, um, my uh, grandchildren, I had grandchildren, but I, they, I have some that say, well, you know, I, you know, I generally give them clothes or something that going to last and, 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 and for a while, and, and it reflects on them or what they're in their needs and stuff. But sometimes I've been to a point in time where one would say, oh, they just close. And you ever get somebody like that? When you receive your gift and God give your gift to my, will you just say, oh, it's just this or oh, it's just that? To my, when you receive Christ, well, did you say, oh, he just Jesus Christ? We just put him to the side. Uh, that that, that going to be the, the Monday morning, but the day is Sunday, but you still have Jesus Christ every day in your life. That's right. Every day. Every day. In your life, and then not only that, that that when you get this gift that God gives, because now we sometimes we just treat Christ any kind of way. Then like some of the gifts we give, we go early Friday, Tuesday morning, we might be back at J.C. Penny returning that gift. But why do you want to return Jesus Christ back to the Father? If you're returning back to the Father, you lost. So there's no way in this world that you can reach heaven but through by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that precious gift that he gave us gave mankind through all eternity That's it. God's perfect gift to you and I God bless all right. you. Thank you Amen Amen Now you can go home and share the gift that was shared with you. Y'all got two sermons at one service. And it